Celtics fall 90 to 78. This is three at the buzzer on Celtics blog and clnsradio.com. My name is Jared Weiss. We're going to take you through the three key points from tonight's game. Uh, Austin Rivers wins in his first game against his father in the TD Garden. It was extremely overhyped before the game and not too overhyped after the game. Doc said after the game that it's fun for everyone else, but for him it's just kind of weird seeing his son running down the floor against him. Doc even said after the game that he uh, almost was going to coach him a little bit then forgot he's on the other team. Uh, so a little bit of, uh, I guess, lessons learned for Doc, but especially for the team because they kind of suck tonight a little bit. Uh, the electric fence was set around the paint for them on offense. Doc said that they just weren't penetrating at all. Dribble penetration was a major problem in the fourth quarter. When they were down a little bit, needed to get back by getting some ball movement, it was pretty much just overhead passing around the perimeter until an open or even semi-open 18-footer for Solinger that was bricked. They just weren't able to get the kind of ball movement and offensive energy that they needed at the end of the game to try to make it close. And for the hell of it, Gravis Vasquez had 11 rebounds. That's a pretty crazy stat right there. Not often you see point guards getting 11 rebounds if they're not named Westbrook, Rose, or Rondo, or Bledsoe, I guess. Uh, so that's a pretty crazy stat. So tune in to the CLNS Radio postgame show, now live on CLNS Radio and Celtics blog, and tune in to the Gardner Report tomorrow morning. And it's also broadcasting live on CLNS and, of course, available on iTunes. Celtics fall 90-78. to 78. This is 3 at the buzzer. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.